Cheryl declared she was a mess after breaking down during two of her acts' performances on Saturday's episode of The Greatest Dancer. Breaking down in tears after watching the Dance Bates Collective perform, Cheryl said that the group get her right in the feels, whenever she watches them perform. During rehearsals the 35-year-old songstress asked them to think of a dance move to portray how they feel when they think of their insecurities. She added, You girls kill me. Girls you really don't have to thank me, it's yows who put the work in, what is wrong with me? Your dedication shows, just to be clear, the challenge was doors. We close the doors down on our insecurities and bash the doors down on our insecurities. I just find it really emotional. You just get me right in the feels and I can't control myself. It has been an emotional week for Cheryl, who was also choked up during rehearsals when she thought about the meaning behind the dancing. She told them, I wasn't expecting to feel like that. Later in the show she sobbed once again, as Harry and Aaliyah put on another heartfelt performance, which left Cheryl declaring she was a mess. Show boss Simon Cowell showed his support during the first live show alongside his girlfriend Lauren Silverman. Jordan Banjo and Alicia Dixon opened the show surrounded by a troupe of dancers before introducing the dance captains who stormed onto the stage to perform a sensational joint routine with their acts. First to take to the stage were Matthew's act James and Oliver, who opted for a classic jazz-style performance, where they wowed the audience with their perfect synchronicity. Oliver has previously said James is a bit of a role model to him and sees him like a big brother, proving to have an unbreakable bond. James gushed that it was an honor to perform in the first live show, and clearly the crowds were left impressed as 88% voted in their favor. Cheryl complimented their hard work and admitted that it wasn't an easy challenge to attempt. Odie clearly agreed, saying, that was the best way to open the show, that was so phenomenal, what was so impressive is that you did it in that speed. Jordan chatted to the boys backstage and confessed that kicking off the first live show is no easy feat, as the two dancers thanked their mentor for all his help. Jordan joked with throwbacks if they were ready to get their abs out on stage, ahead of their performance, quipping that that is what the audience were waiting to see. Throwbacks were given the classical challenge, as they fought to find a way to make the unusual genre work for them. Ahead of their performance they jested, if all else fails we'll just get the boys to take their clothes off. Playing a part of a conductor, one of the dance troupe led the others in a dramatic and exciting routine where they were all dressed in period costume. Sticking to their promise of removing their clothes, the boys soon started removing their clothes to reveal their rippling abs, giving their version of classically cool. Odie excitedly complimented the boys and Matthew joked that he had to hold the girls back during the performance. He added that they might need a new tailor as their clothes keep falling off. During the injury rehearsals for Company Jinx one of the team suffered an injury after falling on a chair. However they came back fighting fit for the live show, and were showered with praise from the judges and Jordan who said it was his favorite performance he had seen in ages. The Globe girls were next up. They admitted that their challenge of sports is something that they found challenging. However, opting for a baseball game halftime show theme, the drag queens took to the stage in incredible costumes, jumping out of lockers and onto the stage, setting the tone for an incredible performance. Going wild for her act, Odie and the rest of the judges were left dumbfounded by the final sequence of the dance which saw one of the dancers jump from the lockers and onto the stage landing in the splits. Cheryl said, somebody's going to have to teach me that 11-foot death drop by the way, I need that in my life. Prospects fraternity began their routine with a scene reminiscent of Stephen King's It, as one of the dancers let go of a balloon before their performance kicked off. Overwhelmed by the their performance Cheryl told the group she had played with her emotions and said that she wasn't expecting to feel the way she did watching the group perform. Coming close to tears once again she congratulated them on their performance. Next up were KLA who rocked sensational samba outfits for their electrifying performance, however Matthew told them that he wanted to see something fresh from them next week. Hot on their heels was the talented Ellie, who put on a captivating performance despite her young years. Cheryl said of her performance, 
It's really moving to watch someone who is shy and is 14 be able to express themselves like that. Your body is like elastic and it's incredible to watch. The theme was a little bit on the dark side for a 14 year old for me though. Scouse natives Harry and Aaliyah were left feeling daunted by their doctor who themed this week and said they felt sick ahead of the performance. However their nerves paid off as their out of this world performance bagged them 96.4% of the audience vote. The first act to leave the show were Odie's act the Globe Girls.